To begin placing your portraits on your page, go to the book view of eDesign. Click and select the first page you want the portraits of a particular grade to start on. Go to the edit menu and select flow portraits. The portrait flowing window will appear. Then click add at the top of the window. This will begin a step-by-step -step process walking you through flowing your portraits. In the field for the flow name, type in the grade or section you are flowing. You may choose to flow placeholders for your portraits if you have not received your portrait CD. If you have already received your portrait CD and uploaded them to eDesign, make sure the radio button next to portraits is selected. Under how do you want to group these portraits, select the grade or section you want to flow. Under where do you want to place missing portraits, you are presented with three options. When editing your portraits in the library, you can add a placeholder for a student you don't have a portrait for, but plan to get one. You do this by going to the Edit menu and selecting Insert Record. eDesign knows these students do not have portraits, and in the Portrait Flow allows you to choose what you want to do with these students. Inline puts the placeholder in alphabetical order with the rest of the students. End of group puts the placeholder at the end of the grade or section. None leaves the placeholder out of the portrait flow. Click Next to move on to Step 2. Step 2 allows you to confirm which page you want to start flowing this grade or section. Click Next to move on to Step 3. Step 3 allows you to begin formatting your portrait page, including the following portrait size, number of rows and columns, the character style for your portrait name, name order, and portrait name text position. The portrait size options are in pica increments. There are six picas in an inch. So a 4 by 6 portrait is 1 inch tall by 2 thirds of an inch wide. Select your portrait size from the drop down box. Select the number of rows and columns you want to appear on each page. If you want each page to be different, you will make those changes in step 4. To create a character style for your portrait names, click on the green button with the plus sign. Your character style window in Book Setup will appear, then click Add. Name your character style for your portrait names. Select your font, font size, letting, tracking, fill color, and tint for your portrait names. Then click Apply and close Book Setup. Click on the Character Style drop-down box and select the portrait name style you just created. Name Order allows you to select if you want your name first then last or last then first. Text Position allows you to put the names below or out to the side of the photos. Lastly, in Step 3, you can adjust the spacing and margins of the portrait page by clicking on the Adjust Spacing and Margin link. Click Next to move on to Step 4. Step 4 allows you to control where portraits will and will not flow. Click and drag to remove portraits. A grayed out portrait block means a photo will not flow into that position. Click on the grayed out portrait block to add a portrait back in that location. Click the arrow buttons to move from spread to spread.
Click Next to move on to Step 5. Step 5 allows you to confirm the settings of how your portraits are going to flow. Click Previous to change your settings. If finished, click Flow Portraits. Continue with flowing other grades or sections of your book. To edit a section you have flown, go back to Flow Portraits in the Edit menu. Select the grade or section you want to change and click the Edit button. Make the necessary changes and reflow the portraits. You may also want to choose to duplicate the settings from one grade to another. Click Duplicate to do so. If you have any additional questions about portrait uploading, editing, or flowing, please contact your yearbook representative or tech support at 1-877-362-7750.